Today, computers are in virtually everything we touch, all day long. We still have an image of computers as being rectangular objects either on a desk or these days in our pockets, but computers are in our cars, they're in our thermostats, they're in our refrigerators. In fact, increasingly, computers are no longer objects at all, but they suffuse fabric and virtually every other material. Because of that, we really do need to care about what the future of computing holds because it is going to impact our lives all day long. Some of the exciting breakthroughs have to do with the Internet of Things. In the same way we have a tendency to think of computers as rectangular boxes, we have a tendency to think of the Internet as being some kind of ether that floats around us. But quite recently, researchers have made enormous breakthroughs in creating a way for all objects to communicate. So your phone might communicate to your refrigerator, which might communicate to the light bulb. In fact, in a near future, the light bulb will itself become a computer, projecting information instead of light. Similarly, biological computing addresses how the body itself can compute, how we can think about genetic material as computing. You can think of biological computing as a way of computing RNA or DNA and understanding biotechnology as a kind of computer. Some of the ways that computing is changing now are that it is moving into the fabrics in our clothing and it's moving into our very bodies. We are now in the process of refining prosthetics that not only help people reach for something, but in reaching, those prosthetics now send a message back to the brain. The first prosthetics were able quite miraculously to take a message from the brain and use it to control the world. So, what will computing look like in 2030? The answer is that we have no idea yet because change is happening so quickly. We know that quantum computing, the introduction of physics into the field of computer science, is going to be extremely important. That computers are going to become really very tiny, the size of an atom. That's going to make a huge difference. Nano computing, very small computers that you might swallow inside a pill, and that it will learn about your illness and set about curing it. That brings together biological computing as well, where we can print parts of the body. Do you want to learn more about all the technologies mentioned in this video? You can! Watch our other videos on the channel for more deep understanding of the mentioned future technologies.